Hello, and welcome back to my extreme one chunk Iron Man, Canifist Chunk. Why are you laughing for? What, Chris, why are you laughing for? Lift that lid off, it looks black. It oh. is black. God, oh. it's black. Yes, yes. Hello, and welcome back to Wilderness Chunk, my extreme one chunk Iron Man. Since leaving Canifis, I've rolled what seems like endless wilderness chunks, culminating in the last video with me rolling the Vetion chunk, landing us with yet another pet grind. However, Dragix decided that killing the multi-combat variant of Vetion with extremely limited stats, gear, potions and food was not enough of a grind for us, and of such, took it upon themselves to update the Chaos Temple chunk. We already greenlogged that chunk having gained all the pieces of the Elder Chaos Druid set in a previous video. However, now we have to go back to get an item that they released at a rate of 1 in 20,000, as well as completing two biblical skilling grinds in 91 cooking and worst of all, 95 fletching. So strap in, grab a snack and welcome back to Wilderness Chunk. As a recently unemployed degenerate gamer, I have a lot of free time on my hands and decided it was time to tackle The Walking Dead. But ah, it's not on Netflix. I guess I'll have to fork out for yet another streaming service. But wait, by using today's sponsor NordVPN, it is on Netflix. Simply by switching my region from the UK to the US, I essentially get a whole new catalogue using the same subscription. Now, if there's one thing that our boy Rick cares about, it's security. And Nord can also help you be secure online. Why don't you go and find out yourself? Send me a postcard. No one can track your IP whilst gaming or browsing, and with their advanced threat protection, you can make sure that dodgy links and downloadable files are filtered out of your online experience before causing you any problems. So, if you want to save money on streaming services and also be secure online, whether at home, at a coffee shop, or halfway around the world, get NordVPN today from my link in the description with a huge discount and entirely risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the next video. I think it's episode number 25, which is kind of crazy that we're here already. Um, if there's one thing that was said in the comments on the last video, it is that uh, I need to stop protecting Melee the whole kill at Vetion. Now, I'm not as stupid as some people at least seem to think I was. I know I don't need to pray Melee to kill Vetion in terms of, um, I know he's not meleeing me, he's just using the AoE attacks. Um, but I was thinking, well, if I'm at, um, if I'm there anyway, why not? And I'm using Protect from Melee during the Hellhounds and I'm one tick flicking them like this as best as I can. Um, why not do that with all three prayers active the whole kill? Because then it's easy. But what I might do now is swap to high prayer gear and just use the ultimates like throughout the kill and then just one tick prayer flick during the Hellhounds. So. Comments on boarded. I'm going to give it a go and see how the press stack holds up, uh, see how the restores hold up whilst doing it. Right, so firstly, you guys are incredibly wrong. I save way more prep one tick flicking protect melee the whole kill. Uh, awesome, super combat potions. We love to see those. Um, and the second thing is they've decreased the spawn timer here by like quite a lot. Like, look how quick that spawns in. That's like biblical. Um, hopefully. I think that should speed up my kills per hour like quite a bit um, over the amount that I'm doing. Like it's more than likely I'm going to do 1500 plus kills here, um, if not like 2k on average, including all of like the uniques and stuff if I go dry on those. So that's going to speed things up quite a lot. Um, oh, I love having the super combats. Having the super combats is just so good. Look at my hits. Nuts. So, the toughest part about this is just trying to remain out of combat so that I can just log out rather than have to escape through the exit. Um, but I'll tell you what, bringing the um, the robes instead of the black dehyde has been so nice. The prayer drain is noticeably worse. Now, I wasn't bringing them because actually, conversely to their value, uh, these are incredible. These are much harder for me to get. Uh, than the uh, black dehyde is but 
they are so much better. I've got about 10 or 14 sets, I believe, so not too bad. Um, maybe I should look into what other kind of prayer gear I can get in the, on, in the account, even if it's not quite as good as this, because um, it is significantly better, and realistically, the Black Dehyde's not doing much for me, because if I'm going to die... Um, like if I get on a team, if a team gets on me, that's going to kill me. I'm going to, I'm just going to die no matter what. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, first five kill trip. Did I pick? Yeah, I did pick up the loot. 1400 death runes. Not too bad. Barrows who? Don't need barrows anymore. 900 chaos, 1400 deaths and 500 bloods. Uh, we're probably going to cross over 100k bloods in this chunk unless I get incredibly lucky very soon. Um, so having a white stack of blood runes would be pretty cool. And some people in the comments said that actually those blood runes might be quite useful for me. So I was planning at uh, Lava Dragons when I eventually get to those to use like the crossbow with the range potions maybe. Maybe use the scepter because they'll be overpowered. Um, but a very close second could be when they buff uh, the elemental spells probably relatively soon. Uh, because Lava Dragons is on their list of things they want to have water spells be extremely strong against. And I've obviously got access to Water Wave because I've got a Water Staff and I've got a shop to buy air runes. And I've got nearly now 100,000 blood runes. So potentially using Water Wave at the Lava Dragons could be the way to go rather than using yet more ether to get them. So I'll definitely research that once... Uh, once I need to go and kill the Lava Dragons. And well, basically, I'm just going to finish Vetion first. And then we'll look at the Lava Dragons. Um, so hopefully by that point, they've released the Water Spells update. And I'll be absolutely balling. Uh, so yeah, look at this. 96.7 thousand Blood Runes. And 2,500 Magic Logs. Now, they're adding up quickly. That is a very nice stack to have in case we need to do some fletching at some point. This guy has crashed me, and the kills are kind of, like, way better <laughs> with someone here in, like, OP gear. I don't know if my loot is going to be particularly good, because he's doing so much damage. Uh, but the kills per hour is uh, <laughs> very, very rapid indeed. I mean, I'm so useless in comparison to him, but, you know, can't have it all, I guess. I think he's expecting me to do more better damage than I am doing. Uh, unfortunately, but <laughs> I'll take the crash attempt seeing as he's not trying to kill me at least. 73! <laughs> I hope that caught you off guard not watching. <laughs> Alright, we are up to 130 kills now. Still no, new no unique at all. And bearing in mind that the uniques are supposed to be 1 in 56 to get any of them. So, you know, we're starting as we mean to go on. Dry. Hopefully, hopefully we can get just any unique soon. It'd be really cool to get just get like a dragon pickaxe, a collection log pop up. You are fucking joking. We got a curved bone from Vertion on 137 kill count. You are taking the fucking piss. Oh my god. That's crazy. That is crazy. That should be illegal. Curved bone. As if. As if I've had two curved bones in the first 200 kill count of uh, other NPCs. But the mammoth. It took 6.7 thousand. That's a joke, son. <laughs> Just realized I get three kinds of bones as well. Curved bone, big bones, and dragon bones from that kill. <sighs> that is infuriating. And there is 102 combat alongside 74 attack. Not sure if I'm going to stop attack at 74. Five. I feel like I'm hitting way better even with just the four attack levels that I've got. Uh, so I think I might just keep going with it because the strength levels are going to take so long in between that I feel like the benefit I'm going to get from them is going to be quite minimal for now. So I might just keep sending it all the way up to 80, I think. Invent, we've just got 10 vanilla super restores. You love to see it. And 675 gold or huge smithing XP one day. And I'll be honest, I've only done 148 kills. And this loot tab's starting to look quite nice already. Obviously, some of it's boosted by like being part revenant loot, like the uh like the rune stacks and the magic logs, but 
the vanilla stacks are looking pretty good, eh? Like, 400 wines of Zami. That's a lot. 150 crabs. 2.7k cannonballs. Massive. 3.3k gold ore already. That's so cool. 25 room pickaxes. Hopefully we'll have a dragon pickaxe to go with that soon. And, uh, yeah, just generally looking quite good. And uh, look there. Eight and a half full, or nine and a half full range potions. That will be massive for me one day. And, what, 60 sand foos and 39 super restores. That's just utterly crazy. Absolutely love it. Ah, oh, look at that. Big shout out to King BPM. Hopefully he sees this and enjoys it. Can't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. TY, TY. <laughs> and that is kill count number 150 for the cannibal. So that is officially now one tenth of the kill count towards what the pet rate is. One in 1500. Uh, hasn't taken too long, to be honest. The PK has seemed to have calmed down a bit, but I think that might be more to do with the Undead Pirates update than it being quiet at Vetion. Uh, but my hits are getting noticeably better as my attack level goes up, so that is making the kills feel a lot faster as well. And I've also got uh, my F4 key now uh, binded to Hop World, so... If someone, if I see someone on my alternative account outside the caves, which I do have sat there with the wilderness PvP uh, flasher thing on. He's not flashing his cock, he's, you know, the screen's flashing. Um, <laughs> uh, when that goes off, I, in theory, unless I'm attacking the hounds or I'm playing terribly, should be able to just hit the F4 key and hop away from PKs instantly. So, thank you for the tips in the comments section of the last video. And uh, hopefully I'll get a demonstration of me making a PK look like a fool soon. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh, safe to say that didn't work. And <laughs> this is the result. What a bunch of losers. Look at them. There's so many of them. How pathetic. Honestly. Oh my god, right, that's the third death today, and it is like middle of the day, so that is not looking good. Um, ah, right, okay, three deaths in one day, that's not ideal, is it? <laughs> back to back Sanfu serums, alright, fair enough, I'll go and bank those. Oh, let's check the, uh, check the clue scroll as well. No, nope, Hosidia, so we can't do that, right. Probably worth banking those, I think. 40 Sanfu Serums, that is pretty massive. 40, that's over a mil. It's crazy how, how valuable they are, isn't it? So, I just recorded a load of clips with absolutely the wrong screen region, so we've lost a little bit of footage there. Uh, but I'll try to make up for it. Uh, we're about 180-something kill count. I've got 75 attack, which I'm not sure if got recorded or not. And, um... This has got to be the ugliest outfit I've ever worn. Um, and if you have a think uh, about what 180 something kill count means with a drop rate of 1 in 56 for any unique item, we are over three times the drop rate now <laughs> for any unique. So, <sighs> why can I not just get some items from anything? Why am I always dry everywhere? It's just painful. Hopefully we, we... Oh, God, I've got the hiccups as well. This is a fucking train wreck, this video already. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, let's get stuck in, shall we? Didn't see was uh, that I got a drop of 100 blighted anglerfish from Vetion. So that's a pretty cool drop. 100 anglerfish, like, cooked, ready to go. Huge. Uh, I lost that drop <laughs> almost straight away to a PK. Uh, so that was kind of rough. But we live and learn. Oh, you love to see the... Oh, God, too slow. You love to see the dragon bones on the floor every time. Doesn't get up. Well, it might get old for you. Doesn't get old for me, though. That is, what, 40,000 prayer XP? More? <laughs> that is kind of crazy, isn't it? Wow. I'm probably going to get a lot of those on this grind as well, so I'm very excited to see how many we end up with. Oh my god, these people are so pathetic. It's like Tuesday. No, it's what day is it? 
Thursday. Friday? Oh, don't name. <laughs> Why does it even matter? <laughs> Just leave me alone, please. Please. Oh, go on then. Oh, multiple super stores, gold ore and sand foods. That's probably worth banking, isn't it? 196 kills. Really kind of getting through it now. It must be said. Uh, Northwest exit is the one. Rune pickaxe is two. I really want to get that dragon pickaxe soon. I just feel like that would be such a cool item to have in the bank. And here is 200 kill count. Very nice. Still no unique drop, so approaching four times the rate for a unique without one. Hopefully we can get one soon. Um, yeah, fun boss though, I think. The PKs are annoying when they come up, but the actual boss itself I quite like. I quite like the idea of yeah, if you do it perfectly, you take no damage. Um, that's quite rewarding for doing well. Uh, so, yeah, enjoyable boss, I would say. Oh, and the dragon bones as well. We love to see that. Is this an elite clue that we can do? No chance. Right. Uh, do I stay for one more? Yeah, so I so the reason I'm risking things like the dragon bones and Sanfu serums to get more kills is because my most precious resource right now is super combat doses. I'm just not getting enough to do all the kills with super combat doses. I don't know if I just need to have like a lucky streak and get like four drops in one um, session, but I need more and it's I don't want to waste them by like banking after like one or two kills on a trip. I need to be getting like at least four kills, preferably um, three. Uh, sorry, preferably five kills out of each super combat dose. And if I just bank after getting a decent drop every two kills or something, um, I'm just not going to get anywhere close to that. I'm going to have to do, end up doing so many kills across this guy and unpotted. And I feel like the, the downside of doing loads of kills unpotted is worse than the downside of losing some dragon bones or sanfu serums every so often so that's why i'm doing that i'm not deliberately losing loads of items on purpose for no reason it is because i feel like i'm losing more time uh with the super without super combat doses so <laughs> yeah before you start cooking me too hard in the comments for losing dragon bones and sanfu serums and stuff that is why right dragon two-hander sword and uh, right do you know what? I'm going to do it whilst I'm on camera. Let's do the bank typing plug-in thing. Bank. Uh, uh, <laughs> keyboard bank pin. Okay, right. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's see if we can do this. There we go. Look at that. That's probably defrustrated a lot of you guys. Uh, right. Let's chuck in this decent little trip. Dragon bones and the dragon 2H sword. What I'm going to do is actually decant these four dose range potions back into um, two doses so that we just have one stack. Very nice. So we're up to 42 doses of range potion. They are going to be so, so nice to use one day. Um, but having the Dragon 2H sword in there makes that tab look very, very nice indeed. And this is going to become an absolutely humongous uh, loot tab is my bet because if the first 200 or so kills is anything to go by we're not getting very lucky here at all so uh, yeah I'm anticipating going quite dry for the pet which I don't necessarily mind because building up this loot tab will be very very cool indeed um, there is a drop of 100 ranar weeds on this drop table which I was mistaken in the last video for thinking it had been removed um, I just haven't got it yet um, so I'm hoping I will get that at some point because it would look very cool in here. But it's a 1 in 128 and I'm 209 and still don't have it. So yeah, the RNG is not perfect. But hopefully we'll get that at some point. The drops that I really want to major on are the Oak Planks, the Gold Ore and the Dragon Bones. Because I feel like they'll help me with three skills that I have quite low at the moment. So the Prayer will obviously be handy. Getting some construction XP relatively easily will be handy as well. And then also just any smithing XP that I can get banked will be handy. Because one day we're going to get a 99, well, a 90 mining and a 99 smithing grind. And anything that I have in the bank to prep for that, um, including that gold ore and then also the stuff that I got from Revs, is going to be very, very handy indeed. Oh, fuck. Oh, leave me alone. Who catches a barrage that quickly? 
Oh, please, I'm a team. Uh, uh, come on, right. Um, God, he's murdering me. Right, the only option, I think, is to try and fake him out. Go on, let's do it. No, stop with the auto Italia. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> right, right, what do I do now? Just, uh, just try and log out, I guess. Oh my god, I can't believe that, that was so good! <laughs> unlucky, unlucky, I bet it's boring for him now. Oh my god, I'm too good, I'm just too good! <laughs> oh, that was extremely satisfying, extremely satisfying. Oh, so good, so good. Oh, and there is 76 attack, yet another combat level, no, not combat level, attack level at Vetion Grind. I'm planning on getting a lot more of these, but hopefully we can just, you know, knock out four kills, get all the uniques we need, and jobs are good. And um, it'd be nice, I, I, what I've always wanted to get, and I don't think I've ever got it in the game, is a unique like with the pet so if i could get like the void waker piece plus a pet that would be very cool uh, and i'm hoping the very fact that i say this now acts as foreshadowing and so it actually happens for me so uh yeah expect to see a clip a bit like that shortly um i'm pretty sure I, and i'm recording this because i'm pretty sure it just happened that i just dog skipped i don't i swear that orange dogs didn't spawn because look, there's only two sets of bones here, so how could they have done? What? <laughs> I really hope that happened and I'm not just making things up. It was during that 76 attack clip, so I... I what? Surely not. That would be very cool if that is what happened. Right. So, as I'm probably going to make the uh, title of the video, Jagex have screwed me royally. And they've screwed me royally with this update to uh, the Chaos Temple with the Undead Pirates. So the main thing I was worried about from this update is are they going to add a pickaxe and that's going to like screw me and land me with a 99 Smith and Grind. Um, luckily they didn't do that or anything that bad but they have done some absolute bullshit. So they added these Undead Pirates, they made the drop rate of the anti-blipping scroll thing that, that, that got added to them a 1 in 20,000. Uh, sounds like they've brought that down a little bit overall. Uh, so we're going to have to get that. Uh, there are also a couple other things we're going to have to get. Uh, namely, an adamant plate body. Doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, it should be fine. And then, one thing they did manage to do, though, to the uh, Undead Pirates, is add a Laren's Key to the drop table. And the Laren's key added to the drop table does not require a Slayer task as everything else with the Laren's key does. Uh, which means that because I have this chunk here with Laren's small chest, I can now open Laren's chest. And inside Laren's chest, there are raw manta ray and there are dragon dart tips. So as you can see, based on our levels, we have 85 cooking. Uh, and you need 91 cooking for a manta ray. And you also need 95 fletching for, for a dragon dart tip. Now, level 95 is a lot of XP. We've got 4 million XP right now to get 87. And our magic, which is just at the start of level 95, is 8.9 million. Which is basically 9 million. So we're looking at about 5 million fletching xp that we have to get <laughs> which is quite a lot uh, so that makes me a bit nervous because that would be a lot of wood cutting however fortunately for me there are these magic logs that we get from vetion um, it's the only kind of fletching drop that we do get from Vetion, but it is something, and it's not too bad. 225 at a time, that's all right. Um, and if I grab these and turn these into a magic longbow, they give us, I can't remember, 92 XP. Uh, so we're looking at about 55,000 magic longbows to get um, 95 fletching all by itself. 
I don't think I'm going to get that. I've got about 230 kills now. I started off with about 1300, I think. So I've got 2700 in those kills. So we're looking at about, you know, 10 to 15 per kill. I don't think I'm going to get up to 5000 kills. Although with my RNG maybe I will. So I think the first I think the first thing I need to do in this chunk is just continue to knock out Vetion because kind of everything else hinges on that. Um yeah, so I think I basically need to get my fletching up and I'm going to do it via these magic logs from Vetion. But I'm obviously not necessarily going to get it um all the way. Uh, but I might do. Although, actually, maybe Lava Dragons drop some kind of uh, logs as well. If they do, that could uh, get us a decent percentage of the way there as well. Um, but, yeah. The cooking, they've they've definitely screwed me on that. I need to get either a, a, a you know, what, oh, what's the potion called? Or the glass. A, a chef's Delight. Or I need to just get 91 on sharks. So <laughs> either way, that's going to take a little while as well. Um, this was not a grind I was hoping to do in this chunk, but I guess it's uh, I guess it was inevitable. I, I knew there was going to be some bullshit that came with um, with this update to the to the undead pirates. I could just feel it in my bones. Um, but it seems like we got off okay. But definitely that 95 fletching. Like if I just turn around and get the pet at Vetion, like now, that's going to be a lot of woodcutting I'm going to have to do, or a lot of ents or something. Because, yeah, 95 fletching is going to be brutal, and it will only be easy if I go like five, six thousand kills dry at Vetion, which hopefully we don't, because that would murder my ether stack to death. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully this turns out all right. But I'm a bit scared, and I might just go try out some of the Undead Pirates now, just to kind of give it a go, I think. So I'm going to go... I'm literally going to one-item it, because I hear that it's like it's PK Central over there. Uh, so I'm literally just going to chuck all this in the bank, maybe take like one Super Restore or something like that, and then like 10 Sharks, um, and just see how long I can last. My bet is not very long. Right, it is my first time back here since we, uh, since I haven't, um, since the Undead Pirate update, or the Zombie Pirate update. Uh, looks like they do hit me a decent bit with absolutely no gear on, and the hit points aren't as low as I thought they'd be. Um, so that isn't ideal either. Uh, but it looks like we can get these kills relatively all right. Oh, there is an altar there, so I don't need to flick, which is handy. Um, I'm not bringing any charges in the chain mace because I just categorically don't think it's worth it. Uh, I'm just going to die here over and over again, almost certainly. So I'm basically just going to stay here until I die and just see how we get on. Um, I'm not anticipating getting anything useful in these kills, but at least the kills seem relatively quickly. So hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves a decent amount of Laren's keys. Obviously one of the main issues is the blipping scroll being so rare is like eh. But the worst part about that is that the Laren's keys are pretty rare as well. They're about a 1 in 372. And I need to get some like specific items now. Is that a rune mace? I don't think I've been able to get one of those before, and that's kind of pretty good. Because if I get the Varrock chunk now, um, you know, the Varrock North chunk, I will be able to um, make that bone mace thing that you need to kill the Scurious boss. Oh my god, that's massive. Right, so yeah, as I was saying, I need to get some specific items from the Larynx chest, namely the Dragon Dark Tips and the Raw Manta Ray. Uh, so I'm hoping that I just get those within the kills that I need to kill these for the Blipping Scroll. But, who, is that Dragon... What? These things are like level 34. I did not have a look at the regular drop table before coming here. That's a madness. Okay. I guess that's cool. Um... Weird. Right. Oh, zombie pirate scroll key. Okay. So those are one of the drops that we need. And I believe the drop rate of a blipping scroll from one of these from the chest is... How rare are they? 
I don't know, um, is like 1 in 275. So that's probably going to be the way that we're going to end up getting the blipping scroll is via the keys. Uh, I feel like two in two kills is probably quite rare. <laughs> Our my reaction probably did not match up with uh, how rare that was. Okay, so it looks like the loot from these things is actually kind of crazy. So if I can avoid getting PK'd, it looks like I'll add some decent bank value. Um, and some useful stuff as well. Nine blighted carambans, 22 cannonballs. I'm sure there's more interesting stuff where that comes from as well. Uh, 49 blood runes, so that was a nice little test. Thought I'd just trade in these zombie keys because I think they're actually worth a decent amount of money. Um, and I think the drop rate of actually getting something from them is not too bad. So... Let's have a look what happens if I click check on here. Uh, okay. Okay, right, can't be bothered with that. Uh, so let's head into this ship and see where the chest is. So open zombie pirates locker. Go on, let's just pull a... Uh, let's just pull a... Nice. 30 blighted anglerfish. That's pretty cool. Um, let's just... Okay, an 18 blighted manta ray. That's pretty good as well. So um, let's see. Oh, no, I can't use that, can I? Um, let's see if we can get a blipping scroll fairly quickly. Uh, I might go back to Vetion right now just because I prefer it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look. Oh, finally. It's been over 30 kills since I've had super combat doses. My goodness, that was painful really painful hopefully i don't die with them in my event now because that would be a bit awkward wouldn't it oh we always like to see the dragon bones don't we i'm pretty sure the last ones i got under a clip like this i lost them immediately so hopefully that doesn't happen again and there is 250 kills in theory one sixth to the uh pet you know the drop rate of the pet being one of 1500 so we're getting through the kills quite quickly actually we're just not getting very lucky at the moment we obviously got that dragon 2h sword um but that was about 50 kills ago so we should be on rate for another unique by now even from there where we were four times uh, the drop rate uh, for a unique but as you can see from that kill there the kills are doing a lot better now now i've got my attack up um, we're a lot more accurate, it's a lot easier to kill the Hellhound, it's a lot easier to land hits on Vetion. So our kills are speeding up and, uh, you know, they're only going to go in one direction, which is even faster, which is great news for me. Uh, and I'm slightly better at doing the kills now as well, so I'm banking less and it's just all round a better experience. So definitely not a death chunk, uh, just going to be a bit of a long grind, um, especially now with the cooking and the fletching mixed into it. Right, I've now officially hit peak performance, right? So, uh, the weapon, the, uh, the the Vigorous Chain Mace, is running quite rapidly out of charges. More rapidly than I'm going to get this kill. So, it is the perfect opportunity to show off my new banking method. Which is that, I'm just going to let Vetion kill me. And that is going to let get me back to Farrak's Enclave very, very quickly. And will allow me to grab all of this stuff that's in my invent now and just chuck it straight into my uh, into my Vigorous Chain Mace, etc. And I shouldn't have let that hit me. And then, because this is a PVM death, I'm just going to be able to grab it all from Death's Coffer. So there we go. Oh no, I've died. This is so terrible. What am I possibly going to do? Well, I'll show you what we're going to do. Uh, right, run into Death's Domain. Head over here. Hi, Death. Let's grab my stuff, please. This is what I couldn't figure out before. Zero Death's Fee because it's all a load of crap. And then I'll grab all this stuff. Chuck it into here. And this is particularly handy because I can see on the alternative account right now a, uh, a PK I just went into the cave. So that was good timing from myself. Uh, and there we have it. All our loot is in there. We've recharged our Vigorous Chain Mace. We're going to grab some of these. Uh, oh, don't. Where's my... Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, my super combat potions have gone to the floor. Alongside my food, I believe. Uh, so... Okay, I'm going to grab one of these. And... Okay, so if I get... 
super combat potions. I might have to bring them back. I'm hoping those super combat potions are on the floor and I've not just lost them. If I've lost the super combat potions I just had in my inventor, I'm going to cry. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so in theory, this is how it should work. If I've lost all my super combat potions, though, it hasn't worked. Okay, time, moment of truth. Let's see if our super combats are in here. Uh, um, <laughs> it would appear that they are not. And also, I didn't time that very well because I probably should have got to the next phase so that these dogs didn't spawn. Oh no, did I just lose six doses of super combat potion? Oh no, oh that makes me feel actually quite violently sick. <laughs> what was I thinking? Why didn't I check that before just doing it so arrogant? That is the pain of arrogance, isn't it? I, I, be honest, I probably deserved that. Goodness sake. Oh, and there is 77 attack and 103 combat. Only 23 combat levels to go, like, total now. Um, I don't know if that's a particularly high combat level relative to other extreme one chunk Iron Man. I'm pretty sure Verf is, what, probably higher because he did so much melee to get his first chunk done. Limpwer, maybe higher as well. Um, but other than that, I... I don't think there's too many higher than me. So, 103 combat. Flying. Oh, there we go. That's the first time getting that drop. 100 grimy Ranar weeds. Look at that thing on the floor. That is juice. Right. I No, I'm not going to bank it. Oh, that's such a mistake, isn't it? Right, I'm not going to bank it because I just I need to keep these super combat doses up. Oh, that's such a mistake. But, you know, when we die for our 100 gram and we ran our weeds, I will cry. Although, to be fair, that look seems like a lot. But in terms of herb lore XP, that's what? 8,700 herb lore XP? Not even 10,000 herb lore XP? So we'd have to get what? A thousand of those to get anywhere close <laughs> to uh, 99 herb law. But uh, I guess it's a start. Um, and one day, one day, will be transformed into 100 prayer potions. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? All right, all right, all right. I'm going to bank. But the pr I can't handle the pressure any longer. <laughs> And here we go with kill count number 300 for the rune darts. Uh, dry Chunk strikes again. At, at 300 kill count, we should have between five and six unique drops. And we currently have one. So hopefully the uh, drop rate can turn around for us because I'd really like to not go insanely dry on a grind for once. I mean, at least I got that Soul Wars pet early. That must be the only good bit of RNG that we've had. Um, it's quite rewarding having this chunk, though, I must say, like, over getting, like, Callisto or something. Having to use the chain mace that I worked so hard for at Vetion is very, very nice, because it makes it feel like that 72,000 kills to get the Revenant, uh, to get the Vigorous Chain Mace was worth it. So it is nice using that as my main weapon. Uh, I'm not dying so much anymore, so I am actually not using too much ether. I worked out that I use about 80 uh, ether per kill. Um, and that means that if I can go all the way to 1500 kill count, which is the drop rate for the pet, and hopefully get it before then, uh, you know, without dying at all, I should use about 120,000 ether. Obviously, it's not realistic that I won't die at all, but if I can limit it to, you know, double digits deaths, uh, then we should be looking at, like, less than 200k ether, ideally. So if we can get that, I'll be very, very happy. But yeah, 300 kill count. Headline is extremely dry, but it's not as dangerous as I thought it was. So I'm feeling okay. Middling, middling. Hopefully if I can turn around with a dragon pickaxe shortly, that would be very nice. Oh, I just only just noticed that I got up to 100,000 blood runes. And it wasn't from that trip either, so I must have already had it. But that looks pretty nice in the bank, I must say. 100,000 thousand bloods that is a hundred thousand casts of water wave or something if that becomes useful at the lava dragons so 
Yeah, that is pretty cool. That's a very nice stack to have. And we've not even done barrows yet. One day we will get barrows and that stack will go even higher. So that is very cool. And there is 78 attack. Sorry, midway through drinking a Pepsi Max. The, uh, the most superior of soft drinks, I believe. Let me know down below if you think there is a better soft drink than the Pepsi Max. And don't say any riffraff like, you know, Diet Coke or anything. That thing's vile. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be rating replies in the comments. Uh, 78 attack, two more to go until level 80, and then I'm going to make a decision about whether I'm going to keep training attack or move to strength or even defense, maybe. So stay tuned for that thrilling piece of content. It is a sad, sad day right now. I've run out of strength potions, so I now no longer have strength potions or super combat potions, which is incredibly sad indeed, uh, and means that we are having to now go to Vetion with nothing and just hoping that we get a load of super combat potions. Uh, I might actually have some straggling doses, I do, which is good, but... I think we're trending downward on the strength and the super combat potions, so I don't know if I should adapt how I'm doing it, try and go for more kills per dose of super combat, but it basically runs out by the time that I've finished um, four or five kills, so I don't think it'll really help. I just think realistically we're going to have to be doing some kills off pot, which is sad, but it'll make those super combat doses feel all the better when we do get them. How did that work? I have no idea how the hopping to get away from people works. How did I do that? Oh my god, there's like a whole team absolutely swarming for me in that world as well. Oh my god, right, I have no idea how the hopping works to get away from people, but safe to say that it did. So that, that was a dub of an escape, I must say. And we did it again. I absolutely love getting away like that. It is so nice. Because quite often those people call in their teams and the teams log in at the exits so that they get you anyway, even if you get through the door. So if you can get the hop off as well, like you're pretty much guaranteed to survive, which is very, very nice. Although I get poisoned every time. Um, so now I've got the hop escape down a bit better. What I might do is start bringing a dose of Sanfu Serum just in case so that I can, um, oh, let's just log out on that, so that I can uh, basically hop effectively, run out of the caves, and then kind of go back for the rest of the trip. <laughs> See, he's gone in again. Oh, I love that. Um... Sorry, I was just reacting there to something that you guys can't see. Sorry about that. Uh, so I've got the hop escape down, which is very nice. Might start bringing the one dose sand food serum just so that I've got an option to unpoison myself once I come back out. Um, and I think if we do all that, we should be slightly better off and also very likely to not die much anymore. I'm increasingly getting to that stage where like... I'm looking at the ground every time I kill this thing, expecting there to be a drop. I'm like, oh, I'm so dry. I have to get a drop soon. Mathematically, I must get a drop soon. And it just never, ever comes. It's a bit like uh, me with my wife. <laughs> or rather, my wife with me. <laughs> Funny. No! Second Dragon 2 H-Sword before getting something else. Oh, leave me alone. Why is my RNG like this? It's going to be like the fucking Scepter again, isn't it? I'm going to get like nine, nine 2 H-Swords and fuck all of anything else. <laughs> Why am I like this? Why am I like this? What is this account? My other Iron Man, my main Iron Man, used to, like, actually get drops? This is ridiculous. Come on, please. So, they have just updated the game, and the update was not the agility update. So, we've got another week of not killing any lava dragons, which means more time to kill Vetion, and hopefully more time to pick up some of those uniques that we seem uh, incapable of getting. Uh, but surely... Surely we get something before 400 kill count. 
Uh, uh, what? Another fucking curved bone? Are you taking the piss? That's three times rarer than the pet. Get in the fucking bin. What? Oh. <laughs> Why can't I just get a drop I need? I'd, I'd, I'd settle for like a dragon pickaxe. I don't even want the pet at this point. As if we just got another one. Oh, here we go. Look at these fucking gimps. Oh, look, in the middle of the day, like, what What have they got going on in their lives? I mean, seemingly a similar amount to me, but, you know, <laughs> sod all. How can I spite them somehow? Look, oh, that's so gutting. Planks, logs. <sighs> Fucking tragic people, honestly. Oh, what an eventful five minutes that I totally forgot to record. So, uh, we got 400 kill count, uh, which is pretty cool, I think. And we also got, uh, we also got a PK a coming attackers and actually leave us alone. I was like, please, I just want to keep my ether, leave me alone. And he actually did. That's the first PK I've seen that's left me alone at, uh, at Vetian. So, you know. They're not all bad guys. Come on, all that slagging them off earlier in the video. That's all just good-natured joshing. We love you really... Well, you know. We love some of you really. <laughs> but 400 kill counts. Still only the two Dragon 2 H's, which is incredibly sad. Um, hopefully we get something else soon. I would like to uh, get something cool in this video, even if it's just a Dragon Pickaxe or whatever, but... We shall see. Come on, let's get the collection log starts, please. So, I have just been completely hemorrhaging Zamorak robe tops and bottoms, as it turns out, for no reason at all. And that reason is that you can just buy priest gowns from this shop here. And not only, I think, are they the same as Zamorak robe top and bottoms, I think they might actually be slightly better. So, if we start off with the plus two prayer bonus from our Vigorous Chain Mace and chuck on a priest set, uh, we're looking at plus eight overall. Okay, so I do think that's either the same or worse than the Zamorak robe top and bottom, but it is certainly better than our Black Dragon Hide. And it is incredibly easy to get loads of. So what I'm going to do is buy a full invent of this. And then I should have some nice prayer gear that I can keep using. Doesn't look too bad as well in the all black. I've gone full, uh, I've gone full goth in my RuneScape adventures today. But... We at least have some prayer gear that we can get repeatable. So not only can I now get this repeatable, but crucially, one day, uh, from Vetion, I will also get the Ring of the Gods. And the Ring of the Gods is the best in-slot prayer ring that there is, uh, which is very handy for me, uh, because what it will be is, because I'm not sculling at Vetion, it will be one of my best in-slots that I can actually take with me. Uh, which is very nice indeed. Now, we were losing more tops and bottoms, so we'll go with that. Um, so when I get the Ring of the Gods, I'll have it as one of the items that I can take with me. So I will obviously protect the Vigorous Chain Mace, and I'll protect the Ring of the Gods as well, and then one other thing. Um, so that is pretty nice, and we'll be able to get ourselves up to, what, plus 12 prayer bonus uh, in a totally, you know... Um, what would the word be? Totally disposable gear setup. So uh, that will be very, very, very nice indeed. Uh, I'm going to chuck these priest gowns and bottoms into here because this is the tab that we use. And uh, yeah, look at that. Disposable prayer gear. So as you can see down in the chat, the uh, amount of big bones you get is equivalent to the amount of MVPs or essentially solos that you do. So you can see that I've been pretty much doing solos this entire time and it's just situations like this where occasionally a uh, random just hops in and starts killing the boss with me. Um, it's not worth me hopping in this scenario, so I just kind of let it go. Um, but that is why the big bone stack doesn't quite line up. I've not been doing any like, you know, duos or trios on the sly we're trying to get at least you know 500 solos worth of loot here to uh evaluate uh before we even consider doing teams uh let me know what you guys think should i do teams or not is that kind of against the spirit of extreme considering i effectively can kill this on my own um but obviously the boss is designed to be done as group content 
Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Look how many people spawned in on that. Oh, yes. I am buzzing with that one. That was golden from me. Got that insta hop down with like a whole ass team coming into the room. You love to see it. Yes. I'm so happy with that. Oh. Dragon pickaxe, there we go. Very, very nice indeed. New collection log slot, by far the most useful item from Vetion as well. Oh my god, we are flying now. Finally, another unique look at that. We are gonna be flying when we finally get to the mining grind. Oh my god, dragon pickaxe in the invent, as if it's only 1.1 mil, I must say, that seems ridiculous. Uh, luckily, if we die, we will protect that, I believe, yeah, so no risk running back to Ferrex Enclave right now. That is massive, dragon pickaxe. Whew! I'm excited to uh, get the Void Waker piece at some point because I know that's going to be really expensive. Um, so I know that's going to probably be where the majority of my money comes from in this chunk. But we will take the Dragon... I swear they were like 10 mil at one point. Why are they so cheap now? Is it because they added them to like Cowfight Queen and stuff like that? Which is, I will say, a load of bollocks. Um, but yeah, Dragon Pickaxe, 413kc. We are so dry on the Skull of Vetion. Which is like by far the most common thing. I think it's like a 1 in 180. And that's the uh, Corrupted Scepter or the, uh, what's it? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. That Thamoran's Scepter upgrade to the Accursed Scepter. And we still haven't got that yet. So yeah, we should hopefully get that at some point. And then also the Void Waker piece. And then we will likely be waiting on the pet. But wow, Dragon Pickaxe. Look at that bad boy. Right, let's stick that in the bank. I feel like I need to put it in the pride of place slot because it's a bit more iconic than the Dragon 2H. So I'll chuck that up there. Look at that in the bank. That is lovely. A thing of beauty. Right, where shall I stick these now? Uh, I guess here because they're more useful than that. 108 rune pickaxes to one dragon pickaxe. That is massive. Oh! Look at some of the stacks as well now. These are kind of growing quite nicely. 3,200 super compost. That is going to be huge if we get a farming grind at some point. 5,600 magic logs making nice progress on getting up to the um, amount that we're going to need to get the 95 fletching. 4,400 oak planks. That is a not insignificant amount of uh, construction XP right there. 1,800 dragon bones. Huge XP. I mean, what? 400k XP, I mean that's like 75 prayer right there um, what else I mean 11,000 gold ore, that is a lot of uh, f uh, smithing XP one day, that is massive, 200 Sanfu serums, that is going to be invaluable when we get to uh, Nightmare one day, just a lot of good loot generally and that dragon pickaxe really tops off the collection nicely I must say and there is level 80 attack and 104 combat. Now, we are going to be swapping to strength because I've ran some DBS calculators and essentially as soon as I hit uh, 94 strength, uh, yeah, 94 strength, I get two additional max hits when I'm super combat powered. So that is kind of massive to be honest. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'm also going to... Um, get up to i think 97 eventually as well uh but then after 97 there are no max hits with the vigorous chain mace super combated with the prayer potions uh like with the prayers that i use which is the ultimate strength uh so we're gonna get up to 97 strength eventually um after i get 94 i will probably get up to 85 attack uh, but yeah, goal for now is 94 strength, then 85 attack, and then probably 97 strength. And then after that, we're going to be an attack only maxi. So, exciting stuff. Hey, got away from the PK yet again. I am just too much of a legend, aren't I? What a guy I am. What a guy. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is our... 
Oh god, I can't speak. So there is our confirmation that they do indeed drop Laren's keys as a zombie pirate. So that does lock in the 91 cooking and 95 fletching grind, which is really, really bleak. Because well, I'll have to get a lot of Laren's keys to even guarantee that I'll get the dragon dart tips and the raw manta ray. So, oh, that's excellent, as if you get teleblocked. Okay, um, so... Yeah, that locks that in. So that means we're gonna have to do that. And I'm just, I'm just gonna bank like every single zombie pirate key and every single Laren's key because they're just so important for us to keep hold of. Um, I'm just literally noobing this up because there's literally no reason to do anything else. Uh, we'll chuck that Laren's key in there, and I'll grab a few more sharks than that, um, and we'll just get back to it. I think this is kind of what I'm gonna try and do in the evenings a bit now. Uh, is just try and knock out some of these zombie pirate kills because we're going to need to do a lot. Unless we get very lucky, we're looking at, you know, in excess of 10,000 kills. And that is just just the pirates, never mind the associated skilling grinds. So, yeah, going to be a long one. Oh, they're our first adamant seeds. That's an interesting one. I don't think I've... Um, I don't think I've had those before. I'm I'm surprised they're not on a collection log. I mean, I guess the mithril seeds aren't, but the fact they're a unique drop from only zombie pirates makes me think that they probably should. Who are you? Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they're not on the collection log, but I guess they're not uh, not the highest kind of rarity thing. But yeah, adamant seeds. We can get away from some PKers. Not. Oh, done. Oh, done. Oh, done. There's me Addy plate body, me best in slot. There we go. I didn't realise it was just like a straight... Well, I don't know what I thought it was. But yeah, I didn't realise it was just going to be a straight drop like that. There we go. Best in slot body achieved and equipped. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, this is actually an insanely annoying grind because... With the blipping, my I'm just running absolutely everywhere, and I can't keep my run energy up because I'm just getting absolutely destroyed on the run. I think I'm getting destroyed on the run since I've picked up so many um, like plate bodies and battle axes and that kind of thing. I think it's just weighing me down quite a lot. But I've got no access to energy or stamina potions, so I'm totally fucked. Um, so, I really want to get that blipping scroll ASAP, so I think I'm going to just bank the zombie keys pretty much as soon as we get them. Four in the invent though, not too bad. Haven't had too bad of an experience with PKers here yet either. And it's the evening, so I don't really know what's with that, but I will take it as long as it lasts. Um, Alright, that one's already damaged, so we'll, although that could be damaged from the lava, so we'll finish it off. Um, yeah, they're, they're alright. I don't, I don't know what was the... You know, mega need to add them, <laughs> but yeah, they're they're all right, I guess. Um, decent ish loot, decent access to super stores, decent access to a bit of food, zombie pirate keys. Hopefully, we can get ourselves the blipping scroll asap because I am sick of these things already. So, in an effort to try and save a little bit of run, I'm going with a ranged setup. So, not as useful for training or whatever, uh, but this might be better. Obviously, we can lose all aspects of this totally fine. Uh, we can get all of these back just from shops or crafting stuff that we've got massive amounts of. Uh, and I'm hoping the running around will, you know, be less and therefore I will get hit. Like, I'll, uh, I'll run out of run less and it will just be way less painful overall. Um... DPS in this gear setup should be decent as well, I believe. Um, these things are pretty low defense, I think. Uh, I might just ignore all the arrows unless there's like huge stacks of them. Um, but I think this is probably going to be the best best option that we've got, although that doesn't look fun. So I guess I'll run opposite. <laughs> opposite all the PKs that just came running in. That seems like the one to me. I think they're after the people with the crossbows and stuff because they actually have ether on them, but we shall just try and log out and not be successful. Luckily, these... Is this multi combat? Are you joking? I just got my one key. <laughs> oh, this is why this is going to be so not fun.
Let's see if we can tank it. I've got no prayer pots on me. Come on. Come on, keep splashing. Go on, splash again. <laughs> As if I got away. I still have it, boys. Even with no gear and luck alone, I am still the goat of escapes. Seven arrows in, and <laughs> we got hit by BKers. That's how we like it. Oh, <laughs> cleared him. That is such a good one. That was such a good one. Right, happy with that. Easy game. Easy. So, you can hop instantly. I think the times when it's just not worked before, I've just been a bit slow on it. Um, which I guess makes sense. Or not that I've been a bit slow necessarily. More that I've been hit within the last 10 seconds and just not quite realised it. Um, so, I guess that makes sense. But, yeah class that i uh, got away from that oh i'm so happy and here is kill count number 500 one third of the way to the pet drop rate we should have upwards of about eight or nine unique items right now but we currently have three and two of them are a dupe so uh, we definitely should have more items than this but dry chunk strikes again we cannot go over the drop rate for anything as it so turns out but we're doing well i think i was very disheartened at the start of this video that i was going to struggle getting kill count without dying over and over and over again but we seem to have gotten away with it which is good um yeah crazy crazy i'm uh i'm very happy to have 500 kill count that seems like a lot especially considering it's the multi-combat variant which is like just a lot tougher and a lot higher level wilderness like you know more hit points more defense so i'm really really quite proud of getting up to 500 so quickly and i guess we're just gonna have to keep on going and get some more Right, I will call that the end of the video there. Huge progress made today. I mean, look at the Dragon Pickaxe. The Dragon 2H is alright, but the Dragon Pickaxe is absolutely massive. And just some of this loot we've been picking up from Vetion is just huge. The Blood Rune stack is still growing. The Oak Plank's going to be massive one day. That's over 300,000 construction XP right there. We're getting loads of magic logs that we're going to need for the Fletching Grind. 13,000 gold all. That will be huge for smithing one day. 2,100 dragon bones. Absolutely crazy. Now, the channel memberships this week went mental. So, um, huge thank you for all the support to everyone. Every single one is massively appreciated. You guys are just so crazy and you continue to blow my mind with the support that you guys show. Uh, we're up to something like 61 channel members now or something, which is just absolutely crazy. Massive thank you, as always, to the boys in at Amethyst, Fontcest, Talfane, Patrick Wright, Jern Scallon, Sir Yolo, and Mike Moran. Uh, at the Rune Tier, Crito, Cianscape, Cornstalk Hands, Jesse Emelian, and the new one, Adam Cornick. All the boys at Legend, El Pinin, Brad Norsium, Cum Crumpet, Teeters, Uberhasu, Baseman, Alacy, Draco Ranger, Pierre Totari, Just Taxland, Girk, Can't Even Fly, and Douglas Sears. And as always, every single person at the gold tier, which is so, so many of them now. Thank you so much to all of the guys. Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Squang, Olivet, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Croporo, Vandio Gaming, Asharanka, Spooky Pasta, Carsman, Hannibal, Potatis, Wimble, Chas John, Only Moly, Played Pancakes, Ed Manta, Man of Gold 93, Dominique G, Luke Davies, Sauron Pedersen, Morse Co, and Shibadiba. Oh, it's a long list now. It takes me like a long time to get through it. Thank you so much to everyone. It's hugely appreciated, especially now being unemployed. Really, really appreciated. You guys are the lifeblood of the channel along with every single person that watches. It's a huge, huge honor to uh, be able to create content for you guys. And I just hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.